want to say is, is mobile really is the, the biggest opportunity that is going to happen in our lifetime. I, I can't, I mean the internet was interesting, but, but the number of mobile devices connected to the internet far you know, exceeded computers connected to the internet like five or six years ago. There are many ago, things so. around the life of a consumer which the mobile device is actually enabling. We project, right, and this is uh, based on Forrester information, that by 2016, it's a $31 billion business just in the U.S. alone. We're saying we want to start doing um, more biometric gathering of uh, customer information, so it's, it's all about privacy. You know, you come in and device you... Device management, back to David's point as well, is, is key. I think about what we're tr what we're looking at is okay. How do I? I've got a I've got a I've got a personal device, but I have business applications on here. I have personal applications on here. How do I how do I seg segregate those two? How do I put a virtual layer onto this onto this device? Sure that ninety nine point nine percent of your associates actually have their own iPhones. Have you considered yeah. at all being able to use their own devices in some way? Uh, wireless PCI and system-wide security. Two years ago, the doctor had paper. A year ago, he had a laptop. This year, he had an iPad with a uh, Bluetooth keyboard. He did the entire session on the iPad. This isn't happening three years from now. This isn't happening two years from now or a year from now. It's happening now. But at the end of the day, it is about convenience and whether you want to be anonymous or um, you want us to know you, we want to be able to provide that level of experience. But at some point, it's about the transaction, making that as seamless as possible. So talking about physicians and what do they need, um, the tools for them, and the, you know the challenges of having, having so many disparate sources of data that you have to kind of bring together and give them the tools so that they can actually you know have enough information to use the mobile device to actually write the prescription or get um, back information on them. It's so it's a data aggregation challenge, but it's also a privacy um, concern that has to really be. Um, thought about in terms of uh, the tools that you provide. The there. other kind of contrarian trend that's going on is a number of plans um, have uh, moved to bricks and mortar. It, it looks like a passing fad to me, but I guess it remains to be seen. Um, and they've just done some more research and uh, they firmly believe that in a short period of time, like two to three years, that experience will significantly outrank content and platform. Absolutely they believe it in their, um, their research. Uh, with the advent of social networks and with the ease with which uh, the next generation seems to be sharing their personal information almost publicly, uh, I think it's the end of privacy. I, I don't think the next generation cares as much uh, about uh, being private and not releasing as much information about I themselves. can turn on and off very specific things based on any trigger. Um, but as the data gets pushed more and more to, it's stored somewhere else, this is a representation of that data. Do, do it, the consumers, I guess the question I have yeah. is, do consumers understand the difference that it's not all stored on here and maybe that's why they're concerned about the security of the physical devices? Well, that's, and despite the fact that most users say that this is the number one most personal item in their life, they do absolutely nothing to protect it. When I say so, I, I mean the phone. As I said before, this is data that, that you collect about yourself and create your device can become more intelligent in, in guiding you. This is clearly not something that Big Brother, you know, you feel very comfortable it's, uh, sharing with me. It's security. I'm worried about security. And they could be talking about your security, as in like I'm worried somebody's going to get my contacts or my corporate data. But they're also talking about their security, which is people are no longer accepting of the fact that, that enterprise is a device, it's a feature. So that makes this no longer sort of a niche corporate liable opportunity, this makes it many, every Many of them are, are, are federating around Facebook ID <clears throat> or Google ID and, and, and those entities making information about you available because in you choosing to do that, you're giving them permission to share right. your social profile. Right. Yep. Uh, losing one's phone versus losing uh, one's wallet. <laughs> I thought that was uh, very interesting. And looks like uh, from a retailer's perspective, looking at what David had to say, uh, we are trying to solve you know common problems. So so definitely, I think we're going to move the industry uh, and the experience forward as we um, as we look you know three or four years down the road. It'll be a completely different uh, different environment than, than today.